All right, back to work on this Windows 10 computer. Actually been loading 15 years of tax software on it and so far so good. And of course we got this printer to work. That's another good thing. My buddy helped me out and uh, so that's, that's a big plus. I don't have to worry about replacing a bunch of printers. Scanners still up in the air on. But what I'm gonna do, because been trying to load this tax software and this computer is so old it's got a three and a half inch floppy drive and it wasn't giving me an option to change it so I figured well these things are pretty much obsolete anyway I might as well go ahead and take it completely out and that way it won't see it but I might actually put some fans in there eventually I don't even know if they make something like that small enough to put uh, fans on but you know yeah, that's basically my plan for now is to get this thing out of the way so it will my tax software will quit seeing it. So let me go ahead and get the old floppy drive out of the way. If I can do this with one hand, and I probably can't, so let's see, you're gonna stand right there. Okay. Now let's try it. There we go. Get that. And then mechanism for this floppy drive. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, it's sitting right on top of the hard drive, too, so, yeah, this is probably, there we go, free it up, maybe get some airflow in there. That's, uh, yeah, see, I got a Western Digital Blue 250 gig caviar hard drive in here, so, yeah, plenty of space for taxes, but uh, yeah, in fact, I think I might be able to bring this up a level once I get this floppy drive out of the way. So, let's see. Yeah, there's the pin. Simply pull it up, and then there's the pin on the back, like that. Simple, easy removal. So, yeah, this is pretty much garbage. I mean, I might save the screws on the side, but uh, yeah, into the junk box with it. So, yeah, now I might go ahead, let's see, yeah, because there's the screws there. I might try to elevate the hard drive so it'll get some airflow there. Or I might not. Yeah, this carriage is specifically made for the brackets on here, so... I might still be able to rig some ventilation, at least going across it, which would help, you know, kind of get some airflow on it. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't need that there anymore. This thing's got three gigs of RAM that I put in it, two one gig sticks and two 512s. I tried upgrading it to four gigs, and boy, it started, Windows 10 started getting temperamental. So I just popped two 512 sticks in run it with three gigs and uh, which is good like I said this is a tax computer there's nothing performance about it as long as it does taxes that's good enough for me so um, yeah I guess for now I'll go ahead and just pop the old disk drive back in just like uh, come on that's not what the line up right Uh, hold on. Let's try this again. And this thing may have been dropped on the edge, so it's not wanting to line up quite right. goodness. There it is. Finally. All right. Removal of a floppy right by the hard drive. So yeah, actually that'll probably help get some airflow across it. So yeah, and that'll save me a hassle of dealing with my tax software, seeing it as a functional drive. So then I can go ahead and finish with my tax software and 
it'll hopefully work with no more issues. So <laughs> there we go, a Rosewill 2.5. Uh, hard drive fan for a three and a half inch drive bay, 60 millimeters. So just ordered it. It'll be here probably next week and we'll do an updated video. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, while I'm at it, I might as well take out the floppy drive from this one so I won't have any hassles with it. This is a GX620. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and knock knock out uh, two floppy drives in one video. <laughs> Make it easy. All right, this one should be a little bit easier. Floppy disk. And then yeah, there's the floppy there and then a little ribbon which will get right there. So yeah, huh, how about that? fancy little hunk of junk so throw it in the junk box as well and this one's a bit more compact I don't know if I'll have room to put a fan in there or not not like I'll need it because the hard drive is back there so yeah so yeah this is these are a little simpler yep snaps right back in place yeah, just like that okay so, uh, yeah, I don't have any plastic pieces or I'd stick one in there, but yeah, that'll save me the hassle of uh, having to deal with that when, uh, loading, when I'm loading my tax software. So, cool. So, yeah, there you go. Removing floppy drives from two Dell Optiplex GX620 computers. So, simple as that. And, uh, yeah, if you can run ventilation in there, that's probably best, to, you know, for airflow. But, yeah, the other one had a hard drive that I can put a fan over, and this one does not. So, I'll just have to, I'll have to figure something else out on it, if I can at all. So, all right, well, there you go. Another computer video. Thanks for watching.